Hello everyone and welcome back to the APUS Analog Research Group. Uh, I'm Mission Specialist Pierce and I'm here with Mission Specialist Guthrie and Mission Specialist Lojack. They're going to talk to us about the fourth and final um, medical EVA that we've done here at the Ilma Habitat. Um, Mission Specialist Guthrie, tell us a little bit about your research project. Sure, thanks. Um, so I'm what they call a principal investigator. That means I had a research idea um, so I'm kind of like the lead on, on the project. And so m my research project was contingency EVAs uh, for lunar surface activities. So what does that mean? Basically, if we have a medical situation where we have an incapacitated astronaut out on the lunar surface, what is the best methodologies, devices, equipments um, that we can use to get that person back to safety um, as quickly as possible? So. Here at University of North Dakota's ILMA, um, they have these really cool NDX suits that we can test, which are pretty close replicas to the EMU and the EVA suits that the astronauts are currently using. So what it gives us is a lot of good information about suit interface, which is actually really important to NASA as part of their concept operations for their phase one Artemis process. So, um, so that right now I have Mission Specialist Lojack right now. Um, while it looks like I'm a, a statue, I'm actually observing his performance while he's performing the, the med sled um, portion of the test, which is one of the two medical devices that we were using on this EVA. Uh, as you can see right now, we have a, the, the lower right hand view is my view. Uh, that's uh, a camera in front of my chest. You can see that I'm, I'm doing my best to uh, get the uh, astronaut Kurt, Kurt uh, cinched down and attached to the sled properly. That was one of the big things I because I had observed uh, three others, Mr. Specialist Guthrie, uh, Pierce, and Commander Trevino do this previously. So uh, I just asked for a little bit of guidance and then went on my way. Kurt was incapacitated, so I started, as you could saw, by dragging him out of the sled. Now I'm getting him uh, cinched down. Uh, between the two devices that we had, the sled, and then eventually we'll see the, um, it's almost like a wheelchair. The sled was by far uh, the the best to use, at least in this situation, um, because it makes it easier and you'll see us moving and dragging uh, the uh, analog astronaut around. So, Why is this particular research important for future lunar operations? Part of the, the phase one of the lunar operations for the Artemis program, NASA has something called the concept of operations, and so within that, um, is uh, EVA um, EXP0042, and it talks about contingency EVAs. So right now there's, there's not like a proven concept on how do we get incapacitated astronauts off of the lunar surface. We know that we need it, we know that emergencies can happen, um, but what's really important is suit interface. So as you can see, these suits are kind of cumbersome to use. They have big bulky gloves, big bulky boots. You have, um, which is your personal life support systems on the back, you have, you know, helmets that limit your range of view, so um, you can't necessarily just pick someone up and carry them. And then, then you have one six gravity that you're dealing with as well. So what we're trying to do is, is test what is good suit interface. And so, um, you know, things that are challenges like bending over and carrying someone and, you know, trying to snap buckles together. So here you can kind of see me providing some direction um, to Lex, you know, on pulling the sled. So I know some uh, some people listening are probably thinking, well, it's one six gravity. You know, why not just why not just pick them up and throw them on your shoulder? Uh, what are some of the weights we are still going to have to deal with? Well, so you have to think that the spacesuit right now weighs about three hundred pounds. Not not these test suits that we're wearing. They they weigh about twenty eight. But the the EMU and the ex EMU suits weigh about three hundred pounds. And then so you add a say, you know, 150 pound person, 200 pound person in there, you're, you're talking easily anywhere between 300, uh, 450 to 500 pounds. And so even in one six gravity, you're looking at possibly an extra 82 pounds that you're, you're trying to haul. And then your center weight of gravity is completely thrown off. And then in addition to that, you have just all these different terrain features that you're, you're battling with from very silty lunar dust to very rocky dust. And so what you don't ever want to do is compromise someone's life support system while you're trying to save them. So it's one of the, the advantages to the sled is it kind of encapsulates the, the astronaut and, and protects their life support system. But what we're also seeing here is different carrying methods on how we can pull the sled. 
Um, in this video here, you know, just <laughs> just seeing if it just seeing if a wheelchair works. Sometimes you have an idea and you don't know if it's going to work or not, but all data is good data, even if it looks kind of dumb. Um, so right now we're just kind of pushing Kurt, you know, across the surface, and then we tried to see if we could do it with the suit here as well. And and so we got some good data points off of here on whether or not, as you can see, <laughs> Lex is struggling to push me it was, um, it was with pretty that in the ground. We had to get the wheels in the right direction. Yeah, this is. Uh, we had an opportunity to, Sarah bought uh, the three of us, myself, Keith, and herself, uh, flags for our, our own individual services, so we got some photo op opportunity at the end. It was kind of fun. All right, Sarah, Lex, uh, thanks for, ex for talking about your EVA a little bit today, and to, for everyone watching, we'll see you next time. Thank you.